More backlash today for Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis after their video explaining why they wrote letters of support for convicted rapist Danny Masterson. The actors were criticized for calling their former co-star a role model, among other things. And the consensus in is that that video didn't help. We are aware of the pain. Fierce backlash today for Ashton Kutcher and wife Mila Kunis as they apologize for the character letter calling that 70s show star Danny Masterson an outstanding role model and exceptional older brother figure with a caring nature. A couple months ago, Danny's family reached out to us and they asked us to write character letters to represent the person that we knew for 25 years so that the judge could take that into full consideration relative to the sentencing. The letters were not written to question the legitimacy of the judicial system or the validity of the jury's ruling. They were intended for the judge to read, and we're sorry. One of the women Masterson was sentenced last week of raping, known only as Jane Doe number one, is slamming their apology. This video was incredibly insulting and hurtful. Chrissy Bixler, another Masterson accuser, blasted Kutcher. In my opinion, you're just as sick as your mentor, referring to Masterson. But others today say they deserve some slack. Yeah, there's no way that they were denying what had happened to the right. victim. No. Now citizen sleuths looking for insight into Kutcher's relationship with Masterson have uncovered cringeworthy lost clips of the actor discussing a then 16-year-old actress, Hilary Duff, with whom he starred in the 2003 movie Cheaper by the Dozen. She's one of the girls that we're all waiting for to turn 18, along with the Olsen twins. There was also this cringeworthy interview about Kutcher's first kiss with a then underage Mila Kunis on that 70s show. And I was a 14-year-old little girl, and I was extremely scared for my life. Then Danny goes and goes, dude, I'll give you $10 if you French kiss her. So Danny bets me like 20 bucks that I wouldn't do it. And of course, I'm like, yeah, sure, what's the deal?